guys, welcome back to ADB Fishing. Now today, I'm going to be doing a bit of law fishing. Um, I have been on three law fishing sessions now. Um, not in, well, yeah, that's including the one that I caught the bass. But two of those sessions I've tried to film because I've got the chest mount now. But sometimes, like, you just don't catch when you're law fishing. With bait fishing, you can sometimes wean out a fish, but with um, law fishing, all depends if the predatory fish there, you're not going to catch. Well, you could, I suppose, but you're not going to catch a flounder on a surface law, unless you're in very shallow water, which you wouldn't really be anyway, but... Um, yeah, the law sessions have been blanks, but I'm filming every single one that I do, so if I do catch, I can make a video out of it. So stay tuned guys, I'll get you set up on the chest, and hopefully we'll have a fish today. So, I got some new laws today. One of them was this Savage Gear Glitter back... I'm not sure where it is, but this is the sort of thing I think pike fishermen use. I'm not sure how you get an action on it though, because it doesn't have the kind of paddle tail. I guess you kind of twitch it and it gets action, but I've just given that a little play within the water just to see what that's like. And it's not too bad, to be fair. So I've got two of them with me today. Then I've got these kind of cheap ones here. I actually really, really like the action on this. It's very heavy. I might have to bring two setups, like a light setup uh, for plug-in. And a heavy one for kind of, well, big jig heads like this, big baits kind of thing. And for my heavy spoons. The other ones that I bought. Let's get this one out. If I can. Sand eels. Sidewinders again. I love these things. Absolutely love them. Um, I got the bass pack ones as well. So it comes with a blue, a pearl white like my old ones used to be. And... I'm guessing this is meant to be a kind of natural one. Yellow spot, I suppose. I think I might put the pearl white one on first. So, I'm going to set this up today. We'll see how we do with that. Um, I think it's £25 braid that I've got here. 20 or £25 braid. And this is a Cox and Roll snap link, I think. Can't remember how I put this on. Now I have got my waders with me today. And it is absolutely boiling today. It's a scorcher of a day today. And I'm just going to go out a little bit on these rocks. Try not to fall over anywhere because there are some gullies around there. There's a nice little spot I can stand. There we go. Right, okay. Oh, that was a bit of a deep bit there. Just check the camera angle and everything. You should be able to see everything there. Now you won't be able, I don't think, if I just cast that way, I don't think you'll actually be able to see a fish take this. It's not like a surface or I'll put some surface laws on later. But this is very, very similar to what I caught my last bass on. Except the state of tide is a lot higher than when I was here last time. Just maybe invest in getting a head cam because the chest one it's kind of hard to film I'm like checking the camera every now and again to see if uh, everything's in frame just let it sink down a bit these are 24 gram laws I think so they do have a bit of weight compared to the scaries ones the scaries are only 20 gram and these are 24 Six ninety nine, I think, instead of eight ninety nine. They ran out of scaries today in the shop. Um, I mainly got all sidewinders. I got those Savage Gear ones, the kind of big, thick, cheap ones. These sidewinders and a sidewinder popper as well. The popper I'm not too impressed with, to be fair. It doesn't cast very far, and and it gets caught up with the hooks a lot. So I don't know if that's just me. Not knowing how to use it properly, but I think we'll put some surface ones on when the tide gets a bit lower. But for now, I'm just going to chuck this sand deal around. Great action on these. It's not as... Um... 
it's a bit more rigid these ones because they've got a bit more lead in them and they've got a chunkier profile compared to the Skerries ones but they've still got an amazing action on the tails weed fish first of the day check that out for a look I love these sand deals, absolutely love them. I prefer the Skerries personally, but these sand deals I can use both shore and from the boat as well. I've got a wrecking trip booked for 1st of August. So basically two months from now. And with this Corona stuff, we're starting to have restrictions lifted at the moment in Wales. So I'm hoping with this Corona stuff, it shouldn't get cancelled. Uh, he has restrictions in place, so he's still able to fish on it, on his charter. Um, but yeah, it's a wrecking trip. Going to be fishing with laws. I'm not sure if he's going to let us anchor up and we can do bait for like big congers and ling and stuff. Nope. Right, there's a big snag there, so I'm going to have to be careful bringing that in. I don't lose these ones. Even though they're cheaper, I still like these laws. Oh, did you see that? I don't know if you got that on camera then. That was like, we've got loads and loads of little bait fish here at the moment. I'm not sure if you saw where that weed is. I don't even know if you can see it on camera. But where the weed is, as I brought my lure in, a bunch of fish or something, prawns, maybe small shrimp, jumped out the water then. So I'm not sure. I feel like um, those savage gear prawns would smash it here. Because there's so, so many of them. I imagine the bass are just hammering them. Everyone fishes with crab here, mainly because of the, well, the real crabs, like the non-peeler crabs. They'll just take every single bait you check out for them. Check out for fish, they'll take it all. So, I, I don't know if the bass are kind of fed up of eating crab. There's a lot of junk in the water today as well. You can try something different. A different colour. Or a totally different lure. This is the popper that I got. Sidewinder one. I think the hooks are a bit small to be honest. Actually not. I'm going to take this hook off. And it should hopefully. Stop me getting uh, caught up in the line. So. The hook's off that now, it's just the one treble at the back. Get this clipped on. I'll try. Hopefully if I can get the camera angle right. I should be able to show you. If you're new to law fishing, I'm new to law fishing to be honest. I've had some good fish on laws, but that's only because someone was willing to take me to a good mark. But I'm no expert at uh, law fishing. Does not cast very far at all. I can't even see it. I think it's tangled up again. a shame because I really wanted to uh, get some surface takes. I've got one more small surface law. I want to use small ones here because even though there's big bass around, you don't get a lot of them here. So I've gone for smaller poppers in the hopes that I'll be able to tempt more fish. Right, so what I've got going on at the moment, 
surface law again. I love this law. It's such good law. It's got a nice snake action across the top of the water. If I just, I'm hoping you guys are able to see all the action on my surface laws here. But if I just cast it out that way, boom. You might have been able to get that. I'm not sure. But if I just, I'll do the action anyway. I've got to do quite a fast retrieve to get the snake action on this. But I'm hoping as it gets in a bit closer, you just will be able to see it. I'm pretty sure you were able to see that. I don't know if it was in focus or not. That's what I'm checking at the moment, and all I'm doing is casting that way. If you can even, see, I can't see what's going on. Just casting that way, just close towards the the rocks. We're in the car, and it, you know if I'm in the car, it means it's the end of the session. Unfortunately, no fish today. It was an absolutely gorgeous evening. Um, I might come back. Um, I'm not going to film it if I do come back, because it'll be dark when I do. But if I do catch, I'll put in a picture of the fish, if I do get one, at the end of this video. Um... Thank you guys very much for watching. If you got all the way through the video, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please like and leave me a comment. Um, if you got any tips, any suggestions, uh, any marks you know of which good for spinning around me, please let me know. In the future, I'm going to be doing a lot more spinning videos when the lockdown restriction restrictions are removed. I'll be able to travel further afield to where the uh, little fishing's better. But thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been ADB Fishing.